everybody, it is Margaret, and today I am unboxing this, or unbagging rather, this jewelry bag that I got at Goodwill for $24.99. So you guys know my rule for getting a jewelry bag or a jewelry jar from Goodwill or anywhere is that I like to be able to see something in the jar that I think will make my money back. So $24.99, that's not too hard. Just a couple $10 pieces and we'll be good to go. Um, I see a few things, there's a nice little candle pin there and there are a few rings in the bag which i don't you know i think they're just little toy costume jewelry rings there's a really big bright i mean it's plastic um sort of a tomato red tomato orange colored um necklace there and then a nice like leather wrap around neck bracelet probably like right here there were also these laurel birch button covers so if i've got at least five of them maybe four or five um, i'll be able to list those no problem and that should sell pretty well actually i don't know i haven't sold button covers in a long time but, um but it's laurel birch so i have got with me my magnet which is not my regular one but uh, it's the one i'm making do with and i have my loop to see any marks that we might see along the way so let's dig into this bag. I'm gonna move it and let's dig in. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? So you can kind of see. So what I'll do is I'll poke a hole down here and we'll kind of pull from the hole <laughs> so you can see what's coming next. All right, let's see how does this look for you guys. All right, so first up, from the jar or bag, <laughs> force of habit, right? I'm gonna say jar, let's see if I can zoom this in so you can see a bit better what we're pulling out. So first up, we've got this macrame style bracelet with a sea star in it, or a little starfish. It, let's see, I mean the cord is, it's more like, like a paracord, I know it's not macrame. Kind of like macrame, but it's in pretty good shape. And I, you know, I've never really seen a star, sea star in acrylic like this. And because it's in good shape, I'll probably go ahead and try to sell it. I'm guessing probably around the $10 mark on that. Maybe seven to $10. It's cute. Somebody might really like it. All right, Let's see if we can pull this out. <laughs> My hole may not be big enough to pull all the treasures out. All right, here we go. Well, I'm gonna have to make it a bit bigger or else wait on that one because it doesn't want to come out. Slowly, slowly. Said the sloth. Ooh, I like this. You know, I'm gonna move the bag, I think. This isn't gonna work for me. So next up, we've got this really pretty silver ball necklace. I'm gonna pull it out a little, zoom it out a bit so you can see it. Zooming, zooming, zooming. So here it is, and it's got this vintage style clasp that gets slipped in and then pushed through like so. That's gorgeous. What kind of cord is that on? I can't really see. Let me see, let me get my loopy out. It's really tight, so it's hard for me to see in there. It looks, mm, I can't tell if it's a metal cord or like a fishing line, like paracord, but it's really pretty. So this one, I don't see any marks on it, whether you know it's silver or not. I don't, I, I kind of doubt it. Let's get the magnet out and try it. Um, I feel like there's a little pull there. Let's see, Let's see if you can see it. It tries to pull for just like a half a second, you know, like just a little split second pull. So we know it's not sterling silver, but I still think it's beautiful. I mean, I could see this probably selling 17, between the 17 and $24 range. Now these are just estimates. They could be more, could be less, but this is my Educated guess, my guesstimates, right? So beautiful, I love this. So some of the keywords, I've, I've had some people ask um, to share maybe some of the keywords I would put in. 
Um, some of the keywords for this one would be silver, silver tone, graduated ball necklace, vintage clasp. Uh, there's a name for this kind of clasp and I'm, it's, I'm spacing on it right now. So that would be part of it. And then maybe the length of the necklace would go in there as the keywords, reflective, shiny, silver ball. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Okay. These feathers are going in the trash. That's disgusting. Okay, okay. Now, that's just a no. <laughs> All right, then we've got some more little bangles like so. Guys, a little bit too loud over there. Okay. Ooh, now we're talking. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, zooming. And this one even has the, looks like maybe it was in somebody's antique booth. It's got a price tag Weiss. This is a costume jewelry brand that actually I think we may or may not have talked about before. But look at this cluster of leaves. Oh my goodness, beautiful. So let's flip it over. And this is the back on it. And it, sure enough, there's the maker's mark there where it says Weiss. I don't know if it will focus for you. Well, it's not going to focus for you. So right there, Weiss is what it says. So based on what they were trying to sell it for, I'm guessing maybe there are earrings to match in the bag, or maybe not. But at 25 bucks, I, I don't know. I mean, I would say probably at least 15 online, if not more, because it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Alright, next we have a broken bunch of pearls on this pearl necklace. There's the clasp. Here is the other end. I thought I could repair it. I mean, these parts just need to be reaffixed onto this. So it wouldn't be too hard. I bet I could probably fix it right now. Maybe. Clip on there and clip on there. There we go. Now we've got a triple strand of pearls so yeah that's how i would describe these triple strand faux pearls bonus fuzz Goodness, I feel like I'm... all right so there's that it hooks in like so now the clasp is not i mean it's got a little bit of wear to it but i still think the pearls once i tighten these up on here could still go for a good 15, 20 bucks maybe. They're really pretty. Next up, we have got a few little mm, like string bracelets. They're all kind of similar. What does this say on the back? I'll have to get a, a loop, but it's got this leaf or feather and then this cord. I'm thinking unless it's something amazing Puro Vito bracelets. So Puro Vito bracelets. I don't know if that's a thing. I'll have to look it up because yeah, that's what that that's what these are. I'm, I mean, they don't look like anything special, but then sometimes there are things that are special that I just don't know about. So one side of the tag has a P, and then the other side says Puro Vito bracelets on it. Okay. So I'll find out about these and let you know. And then again, there are a couple more of these little bangles like so, like that. Okay, next up we have a cute little choker with these faux pearls. And I'm trying to get a feeling for what color. I mean, they're kind of like a dark mauve or a bron pinky bronze color. Um, maybe like a purple, what color would you say that is? They're very, I don't know. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. Um, again, these ones have come off of the clasp a little bit, so it'll be pretty easy to hook them back on and tighten them up so that they will stay affixed. So this one, again, this would be, how would I describe this? I would put something like whatever color I decide they are, maybe throw in a couple colors, um, four strand, pearl faux pearl choker and then i might throw in like romantic 
I'm trying to decide if I feel like it's more of an Edwardian or a more Victorian look. Um, steampunk maybe, costume. And yeah, uh, those are some of the keywords I might use. And then this is that memory wire, so I might put that in there as well because some people might like that memory wire form on there. So there's that. And this, um, once I get it fixed, I mean, I'm guessing, again, again, around the $15, $20 range for this necklace. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, we have a fishing wire style necklace, which is the bane of my existence. They get tangled into everything. Uh, they have some pretty beads, but again, this will go into a lot, unless somebody wants to pick it apart that lives in my house and make something else with not fishing wire, or whatever you call this stuff. It's like fishing wire. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> All right, then we've got a little faux pearl bracelet. And it has a W on this charm. It looks like, oh yeah, the charm has got a lobster claw so you can just take it off. So yeah, I don't know if I'll try to sell this or, I'm not sure, this is a, uh, it's curious. Where's fuzz, we've got fuzz all over the place here. So this one, maybe I would put the charm between the two black ones to make it a little more symmetrical, like so. Yeah, I don't know. This one might end up just in a lot. I can see little black flakes coming off when I messed with it, so I don't know what that's all about. There's more black flakes. So yeah, this will probably go into a, a jewelry lot or get redonated. Another bangle, little bangle. Okay, here we have got some tangled cords. Woohoo! So we've got this gold leafy one, if I can get them separated, and this other one. Ugh. Curses, tangles. Hmm. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to separate them the best I can. Is there more than one here? Is there three? Look, I think this may be part of our problem. Somebody's got a tag that is just wrapped all through here. All right, who do you go to? Who do you go to, you little paper tag? So we can get you out of here. Okay, there's that. Now we can slowly wrap, unwrap these cords from all these. All right, I'm not sure where it was when it cut off, but we were just talking about this necklace, which is a Napier brand. Um, it's got a tag on it that says eight bucks, but I have a feeling I could probably sell it for a bit more online. So I'm not sure exactly. So um, if I was going to describe this necklace, I would say it's on a gold tone chain. It's Napier. Some of the keywords I would use would be gold leaf or leaves. And um, I need to find out what the style is called where they are kind of spread apart like this. I know there's a name for it and somebody just told me recently and I have of course quickly forgotten. So I definitely think that this necklace will go for more than eight bucks, but I will have to do a little research and find out. But it is a Napier uh, gold tone leaf necklace, very cute. All right, next. These were tangled up with, let's see, are they two necklaces or one? I'm looking for a telltale. <laughs> here we go, it is two, ha ha. So here we've got a super duper long double strand chain necklace. This is someone that likes a really long gold tone necklace um, would probably like this. So here we go. Uh, so yeah, double strand, gold chain necklace. I'm guessing probably in the $12 range, maybe more. We'll see. Now this is very unique. So this is a clip or a picture frame that can stand up. So you'd put a picture in there and I guess you could wear this on your lapel 
or maybe even in your hair if you wanted to try to slip this onto your hair as a barrette. And you could put a little picture in there. The frame cover is gone. And I have seen this name before, J Strongwater. I can't remember where though. So I've probably come across it again, um, but I will have to take a look because that would be so fun, just putting a little picture in there and then slipping it, like fixing your hair and putting it in. I mean, it sounds like something I would do, so I may actually keep this and play around with, with putting a picture. How do you get the picture in there, though? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, so there's that. Next, oh, this is sweet. So we've got a triple strand faux pearl necklace here, and it's got um, white pearls, black pearls, and then these bronzy colored pearls. It's... This, the clasp is missing, but I, and this part's kind of broken too. Gosh, so, I mean, it would have been really pretty. If I decide to fix it, I think it could sell. I'm looking at the, how I'd fix this part though. The clasp is just totally gone. I'm gonna have to take a little bit closer look at these, but I think it's so sweet. The three different colored pearls on this one. Very, very nice. All right, next up, oh, there's the bonus hair. Can't have a jewelry bag or jar without bonus hair. Okay, you can go in my trash bag over there. All right, so we have this. Ooh, okay, so we've got wooden beads. This one's got quite a bit to describe. Wooden beads, and then we have this disc with sort of a mosaic style abalone shell, like mother of pearl dyed shell um, in pastels. So we've got, you know, Easter colors, and then these wooden beads, so, and then I think it appears, no, okay, you can move it around, so there's that. Yeah, so this necklace, I'm guessing would go for, I don't know, about 15 bucks. This is definitely one that I, is not my style, but I am certain it is somebody's style. So, yep, I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it, but very cool, that's what we are working with there. Uh, this one is broken in multiple places, so this is just going to be for a junk lot or redonate. And they look like those snap, oh, they most certainly are those snap beads, okay. So these can snap back together, so maybe it's not broken, it's just unsnapped. Do you remember these? I'm gonna have to look them up now, because I don't know <laughs> if there's a market for these snap beads. Okay, okay. Do you remember these as a kid, these little snap bead necklaces? I so do. How about that? Boop. They make a fun sound too. Don't they? I, yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. I have not seen these kind of snap beads in forever. So yeah, they just pop apart. What are they called, snap beads or pop beads? I'm gonna look those up because I cannot remember what they go for. I don't know, do they, have, they still sell these? They, Somebody may be looking for them out of nostalgia. I'm not joking. People look for their, I totally forgot about these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, next we just have these. I mean, they're basically like Mardi Gras beads, but they are like faux pearls. So those will go just into a lot, junk lot. And then this one, the elastic is really like sprung. So this would have to go into our craft lot, but the beads are nice. Somebody might like to pick it apart for these nice black beads. All right, next we've got a little bracelet that's got jingle bells on it. Jingle, jingle, jingle. That'll go into a lot. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get the bag up here so you can kind of see what's coming, but my lap is just all in my lap right now. Here's some more of those pop beads. I can pop them on there. I'll pop them on there later. What in the world is falling to my lap? Okay, next. Um, we have some of these, oh, what are they called? They're, they're like those lava beads that will absorb the Essential oils, I think that's what people are telling me that's for. So I need to take a look at what those might go for. I'm not sure on those, so I'll have to check it out. If you know, leave a comment and let me know. Okay, are you broken too? Okay, you are broken too. So we've got some 
pink faux pearls, again broken. They seem to be discolored too, I don't know. I mean, unless they are supposed to have this big of a variation in color, but these ones don't even have the same luster as the others. You know, one is way more shiny than the other, so these will probably just go into a lot. Oh, okay, ooh, I don't even know. So these are hair combs. This one's kind of crooked. It looks like somebody tried to fix it with a Band-Aid. Fun, okay. And then it has these things that hang off of it. Um, if they were both in good shape, I would probably try to sell them, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. So yeah, these are gonna go into a craft lot, or not. <laughs> so we've got this enamel bangle that has definitely seen better days. The paint is all chipped off, so that's going into either a redonate or a lot. Um, okay, I see a little cloisonne. So these are, oh, it's an orchid. Okay, so I've got a little orchid, cloisonne with a butterfly, and this, um, it almost looks like it's for a bolo, but maybe it's for a scarf clip. I'll have to figure that out. There's the way it looks, like so. Cute. All right, uh, more feathers. Okay, feathers, you can just, let me show you the feathers. There's the feathers. Now we'll say goodbye, feathers. Bye, feathers. <laughs> All right, then we've got these pink, hmm. So it's a double strand pink pearly bead necklace, but I don't know. I mean, this looks like, I don't know if it's supposed to look that way. You see, I don't know. Yeah, these will probably go into just like a craft lot. I don't, mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know about that. There's quite a few of these like faux pearl broken <laughs> necklaces in here. So this is not too bad. It's got these gold colored beads, pearly ones, and then these metallic kind of hematite colored. They're a bit loose on there, like I can move them around pretty easily. They would need to be restrung, so these will probably go into some kind of craft lot or, yeah, like, like that. Mimi, what are you up to over there? Looking for ways to make trouble, I think. Okay, next. We've got, what does that say? I do parties. Okay, we've got a pin that says I do parties. Yep, that one's gonna probably go right into a lot or redonate, I don't know. <laughs> All right, there's one of our Laurel Birch. I'll set that aside and see how many we collect. I'll, I'll leave it there, you can count along with me. Uh, we've got an earring, I'm setting earrings aside. Also, we've got these, so far I've gotten four of them. They're from a necklace of some sort but we'll go into either a craft lot or redonate because, 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 because I don't know what they are from, I don't know. Uh, that one is all scratched up, the pink on this clip, clip on earring. Oh, and it's got some kind of sticky gummy stuff on the back. I guess that's supposed to be the pad, but it got all like sticky and weird. That just looks painful. Okay, that's gonna go in the lot, redonate. Got a big redonate lot here. Okay, there's another Laurel Birch. We're at two. Ting, ting, ting. Two. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, now, these ones I'll sell. If they are in good shape. So we have got some earrings. They are open work, as you can see, with these safety orange chevron pattern. So these ones I would um, describe as open work. Uh, safety orange, bright orange, chevron pattern, teardrop, large earrings, dangle, you know, etc. Uh, and then they've got this thing that waves at you. Hello, hello. All right, okay, Mimi. Seriously, do I need to get the spray bottle? Okay, okay. So those I will try to sell, probably around the $15 range. I'm gonna get you with the spray bottle, little lady. I didn't wanna have to but you might make me. All right, so here we have what appears to be an amber colored stone. I do not think it is truly amber. I'm gonna look at it. it looks like somebody tried to burn it. Mm-hmm. There's a burn mark on it. 
<laughs> Looks like somebody tried to burn that right there. There's like a, a burn mark, which is, yeah. Maybe somebody tried the hot needle test on this. Okay, all right, you're in timeout, miss. Yep. Come on, you want back? She needed a little water to remind her. Um, so this will go into a craft lot. Yeah, like, yeah. Yep, somebody went after it with some heat, looks like. Alrighty, next, what have we, ooh. Okay, I will try to sell this, because it is funky. It is funky. So we have got red, coyote. Oh, is it messed up? It's kind of messed up. Yeah, the paint is messed up. So now it's going into a craft lot. So it would have been cool. I mean, it's kind of, let me know. Do you think somebody would still buy it? No, I don't think so. But look how cute the little bunny is. Look at that bunny. Oh, that's a, maybe a jackrabbit from in the desert. And we got a coyote, a wolf maybe. There's a coyote. Yeah, more likely a coyote. All right. Oh, well, craft lot it goes. Quite a bit, quite a bit of broken stuff. <laughs> All right, here's another one probably going into a craft lot. It's misshapen. You see how it doesn't like lay right? I, I probably could fix it, but eh, meh. Again, if you see something that I'm like, meh, 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 and you think it's awesome, tell me. More little bangles. That'll go into a lot or redonate. Ah, cute, cute. Here we go. Now we've got a cute little strand, double strand of pearls. It has got some, looks like verdigris over here, which is not good, but a nice little seashell pattern. The clasp is broken. The lobster clasp is broken. And then the I, Mimi, oh my gosh. I can see you back here. Oh my goodness, girl. Um, yeah, and these uh, faux pearls are just not in the amazing shape. The smaller ones are still kind of shiny. These ones look like maybe they used to have a coating that got peeled off, so those go into a lot. Man, this has got to be one of the largest straight to a lot <laughs> bags that I've had in, in a while, so. But I think we'll still make our money back. I do. All right, we have a chicken Alaska pin. That is one I will have to look up because you might be surprised at how much some pins can go for. I will look up Chicken Alaska. <laughs> okay, and then we've got these brushed, sorry, brushed gold clip-ons, which again are in pretty rough shape, so they go to a lot as well. No maker's mark that I can see. Not that it would really matter. Well, it might matter <laughs> if they were something amazing. All right, we've got an earring here, not at all gold. So that goes into a lot. Oh, these are cute, okay. We've got some little elephants. I might try to sell those. I would take it out of the package. I would, yeah, because the packaging is just cheapy, cheapy. But uh, yeah, I would just take a picture of it without the packaging and it's the cute little elephant. So maybe 10 bucks on those. Nice. Okay, now we're looking at a pendant. Looks like a. Y'all, I don't even know if I. When I stopped. Was it recording at all? I don't know what's going on with this thing. All right, we've got another one of these bracelets with the. I can't remember what it was called again. Starts with a P. Puro Vito or something like that. That I have to look up. So I will let you know what I find out about those. I see another Laurel Birch. That makes three. Ting, ting. Um, setting, okay, that is a match. So here are some earrings. They, they're not amazing looking, I don't think. So they'll probably just go into a, a lot. Yeah, because I probably won't list those. There's like, meh, okay, whatever. Meh. This whole jar is kind of meh. These are, tell me what you think about those. They're little angels. And then the post goes through their halo, so it's like piercing their halo. I, I don't know. I'm not loving them. Let me know, would you list them? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I need to like get it together over here. Here's another not gold hoop. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna just put that straight into the lot. The lot, the lot, the lot pile. Okay, I've got this one and this one. I'm getting them, hang on, they're kind of tangled. So, I kind of like these. They have kind of a medallion look. I keep saying kind of for whatever reason. So these I would list as a chain, gold tone, medallion, earrings, dangle, multi-size medallions. Maybe a little boho action in there. So yeah, I would list these. Not a lot, maybe 12 bucks in that range. They're cute enough though. They're cute enough. Oh, this that I thought was a long bracelet is a watch. So we've got a wraparound watch. This is a Geneva. It says platinum on it. I don't think it has platinum in it. I think it's just the name of the series. It does not appear to be missing any stones. So this will go into our educational lot. My boys and I, or my son and I. Oh, we've got more bonus hair. Are we lucky? Two bonus hairs. That is going right in the trash right over here. Okay, so yeah, we've got another uh, bracelet watch for our educational purposes. I'll let you know what I find out. Then we have another pearly necklace. This one appears to be in one piece. I, I don't know. It, it's got some issues, so it's kinda, I don't know if it's just dirty. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Tell me what you think. I'm just like so lackluster right now about this jewelry bag. Nothing is wowing me right now. And I'm normally, I can normally see the potential in lots of things. But no. Right now you're in the going in a lot pile. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe something will pique my interest. This is a nice little bangle. It's stretchy. Uh, why I say bangle? Oh my gosh. A uh, stretchy pearly neck, uh, bracelet. It's got some nice weight to it. It looks awfully small, but no, it's okay. It fits. So yeah, that will, I don't know. I don't know where that's going right now. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I'll try to sell it. I'll try to sell it, why not? I don't think it'll go for that much, maybe 10 bucks or so. All right, we've got some chains tangled up here. See what we can make of these chains. You look like a culprit, and you look like a culprit. You catching on everything, little seahorse. Come on now. There. All right, so this is going into my lot pile, that bangle over there. This is a plastic something. Maybe it's a little plastic clip on earring for a little girl. Like, so, so it looks like she's got hoops on. Now yeah, that's out of here. Okay, here we go. This one, this chain right here, this is looks similar to the Laurel Birch. Not Laurel Birch. Um, what's her name? Laura, not Laura Birch. That's Laurel Birch. But the, oh my gosh, I'm spacing on her. Is it Laurel Birch? No, that's her. Ah, uh, gosh. I can't think of what it's called right now. It'll come back to me. Kendra Scott, that's what it's called. It looks similar to the Kendra Scott logo. So I'll look at it a little more closely when I'm done detangling everything in the world, apparently. What I need to do is unhook this right here. This hook is grabbing everything. There, okay, you. Oh, really? You're gonna come back and hook everything else? Wonderful, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. You can come over here. And then you, what are you doing? Are you hooking onto stuff too? Let's unhook this. There, okay. So yeah, this Brit necklace, this um, is very similar to the Kendra Scott logo. I'm not sure that it is. So I'll have to take a closer look at it. It's a nice quality necklace. It looks nice. I'm looking, 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 and I don't see anything that says Kendra Scott on it. 
but I'll definitely try to sell this. Sometimes Kendra Scott likes to hide her name along the edge of one of the little bits, you know? So, so on her, some of the earrings, that's where I found it, just kind of like on the edges. So I'm not sure that this is, but it's a nice enough quality. And once I find out what, I mean, it's sort of a flower symbol, uh, but there may be another name for this particular symbol that I would put. And then it's got these little beads along the chain if you can see that there are little bit bitty beads that are hooked in there and again i know somebody told me what that's called and now i can't remember because i have to be told like 15 million times before i remember something so this one at least 15 bucks maybe more for this cute little chain it's nice it's a nice little chain and now you you i don't know that i will sell and i don't know I mean, I'd have to reshape it. Look, it just doesn't even wanna. It's like I've given up on being a necklace. From now on, I am going to be an octopus. From now on, I'm going to be, what does that look like to you? This is like Warshak test, right? Now, I'm going to be a uh, Aries symbol. Is that the Aries? I don't know, anyway, you're going in the pile. Going in the pile. Okay. Pull out. Oh, now we've got more chains to detangle. Didn't I already detangle you? Are you serious? Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. I see. Oh, it's a cute little owl. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. Okay, so we've got a stretchy pearl bracelet that will go in two, a lot. Chop, chop, chop. And, come on, the seahorse. Okay, you, and you, and you guys are gonna get tangled up just, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Okay, bear with me y'all, I'm working on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, we have a little dolphin pendant here. It is missing some of the rhinestones. The chain is a nice little chain. I mean, I don't think it's silver or anything, but what I may do is just keep this chain and keep it for something else. Like I might find another pendant that's just really super cute, that's not silver. Like you can go, you're out of here. But this chain is nice enough that I can hang on to it and put another pendant on it. That maybe isn't silver, but it's cute enough to sell. So you get to go in my chain pile. And then this one is going with this little seahorse, which I will try to sell because it's adorable. It's a little seahorse. I don't know now, hang on. There's some really scratchy roughness on the tail like somebody put it in a garbage disposal. And that would be very disappointing if I got that. So no, I'm not gonna sell that. I don't know if you can make, you probably can't, but it's really scratchy, scratchy, scratchy down here, like all choppy. So no, so your chain also gets to go in my pile. Ha ha. And then this owl is adorable. I know it says Claire's, right? Yep, so it's a Claire's. But look, it's an owl. And it's a mood owl. So I guess you can like put your thumb on it and it'll tell you your fortune, whatever color it's supposed to be. I don't know. It's cute. My son just discovered things that change color like mood rings and stuff. So <clears throat> that might be something he wants to play with. So we'll see. But yeah, otherwise I'll try to sell that for sure. Yeah, a little mood owl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't know how much though. Oh, how did you escape, little kitty cat? Okay, I have got a thing. The back of it is magnetic, right? Magnetic. And then it has a hook. <clears throat> so, in my mind, I think that this would go on a refrigerator or maybe the inside of your locker 
to hang something on. What do you think? Have you guys seen this before? That's a new one for me. So question mark on that. I don't know what I'll do with it. So here we have, this is actually really cute. It's got some, looks like verdigris or some something that needs to be cleaned up on there. But look at how cute, I really like this. It's kind of got an Egyptian look to it maybe. What do you think? So there's these three <clears throat> panel pieces, some little pendants that hang down, and these blue, bright blue beads. I think that's really pretty. That's what I think is pretty enough for me to clean up and try to save to, to sell. For to sell. And whew, if I get it cleaned up and it looks nice, I could see putting about 20 bucks on this. What do you think? It's really, I mean, it's almost a statement piece as well. Like, yeah, I like it. I like it. Next, ooh, okay, we've got one of these doodads. I always forget what they're called. It is a cuff style bracelet. Is it a one of those goddess rings or slave rings? Is that what they call it? I don't know if they call it a slave ring. What do they call it? Okay, where you put this part, if I can do it, on your wrist, and then this part comes down. How do you do it on here? Like so, and you wear it like that. Um, <laughs> we've got like a moonstone, not a moonstone, but hang on, ow, get this thing off me. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm spacing. Um, it's sort of like a cat's eye stone in there, a little black one. And all the little beads have the same element to them, that cat's eye look, where you can see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so I don't know what these go for, but um, I will definitely try to sell that. I just have to remember, I know I'm moving everything around. I'm a hot mess today. Um, is it goddess style? I can't remember. Somebody will help me remember, I know. Or I'll look it up and figure it out myself. All right, is this another one? Oh, we've got another one. Okay, cool. If I can get it untangled. I have another one. This one's really cool too. So it's got this kind of wrap around. I don't know, it looks like a vine almost. It's really tangled right now. Hang on guys. Something is stuck. Here we go. So here's another one and then it's got, it looks like maybe vines and leaves. That one's definitely more goddess style. That's cool. I think somebody would really like that. I mean, it's not super showy, but you know, it's nice. I have no idea what these go for at all. There's a little bit of damage on it here, but I bet I can wrap that wire back around and kind of fix it. Ta-da! So that's, that's all. Ooh! <laughs> what have we here? Oh my goodness, we have the TARDIS. Now, the blue paint has um, been scraped off. If it ever had blue paint, unless it was supposed to look like this, I don't see any remnants of blue. So this, oh, there's a little blue stone in the top. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is going for me because I am a Doctor Who fan. So yeah, let me in, Doctor, let me in. Um, He's not letting me in, so I guess I won't be his next companion. We'll just, or her next companion, because the new doctor's a woman. Anyway, so this little Doctor Who TARDIS is just gonna stay right at home with me. That's my little TARDIS now. Okay, you stay over here. All right, next up we have this really sweet fleur de -lis necklace um, with this um, turquoisey color there. I don't see any maker's marks, but I will definitely sell this. I mean, that's, in really nice shape. There's no scuffs. I mean, it looks almost brand new. So, yep. This I will sell probably, you know, $14, $17. I have no idea where it stopped. Um, let me see. Okay. So, this was another one that I will sell. This, these are wooden beads, and then there are some like golden beads in there. The colors, how would you just, I mean, they're muted autumn colors. They've got, you know, this muted kind of mustard yellow and this orangey red color. And this is kind of a green, blue color. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I can't tell if there's a strand missing or not. It looks like there might be a strand missing. As you can see here, there's an extra hoop, hoopy loopy. 
So, I don't know, tell me what you think. Do you think you would go ahead and sell it as is? Maybe I'll look at it closer and decide if that's what I wanna do. Okay, then we've got another watch to add to our collection, and it is Bell and Rose, which is not something I've ever heard of. It's got an interesting face. It's not too bad. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be anything fancy. Japan Movement Quartz Bell and Rose. I will look it up and let you guys know. Oh, there you are. There's the mate to our Weiss earrings that went with the brooch. I won't sell them as a set. I will sell them separately and then just link back to the, the earrings and the brooch. But these are definitely a nice little Weiss fall oak leaves, I think they are. Um, I'll look at them close and make sure. I can't tell if there's some enamel kind of scratched off or not, but I'll make sure to disclose. And I'll have to look it up and see what Weiss goes for. Then we have a Cracker Barrel keychain, which I am gonna look up because I know there are people that love Cracker Barrel and there are places that don't have Cracker Barrel because every time my in-laws come, we probably eat at Cracker Barrel three times. So, Cracker Barrel keychain. Next, we have a little faux, looks like little fake opal and rhinestone ring. It is missing some stone, so this will go into either a lot or my son can play around with it because he always needs pirate treasure. We've got another magnet, woohoo! We have another kitty. Hello, kitty. There's our other Laurel Birch. We're getting a whole herd of cats. Oh wait, we've got more. But wait, have we got them all? This Laurel Birch button set would will probably pay for the whole bag. I don't know what they sell for, but Laurel Birch is popular, or can be. I'll have to look it up. We've got another one of these Puro Vito bracelets, and that's the mate. Those are kind of fun. They're, I mean, they're in bad shape, but I love this stone um, right there. The setting is really cool. I wish it was in better shape, but look at these stones. I think these uh, multicolor, I know there's a word for that, and I can't think of it right now. Oh, and if I look at it from different angles, it kind of looks pink more. Well, you can't really tell, can you? Anyway, the stones are very cool. The setting is cool, and it's unfortunate that they're in such bad shape. So they'll go into a lot. Another little bangle, another little piece of something. I mean, there's been a lot that has been crappy. Pardon the crappy word, but there has been enough that will make the money back. Okay, you're cute, get out of here. Get off, hang on. This one mm, earring. Okay, so these I will sell, look at these. They're like little geodes, can you make that out? They're like little geode post earrings. Uh, so those I will sell for sure. That's the side on them and that's the little geode part. I don't know if you can tell. My battery's about to die. I'm gonna try to go as far as I can. Here's some more earrings. These ones will probably just go into a lot cause they're just like meh, okay. I wonder if we can make it all the way. I wonder if we can finish it out. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so we've got a collar, a faux pearl collar with some Aurora Borealis beads in there. The only problem I see is that there's no closure on this side, so I'm not sure what I'll do. Maybe I can try to fix it because I think that's cute enough to sell. I don't know how I'll fix that, but I'll figure it out because look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I will figure it out. All right, what do we have next? Um, this will go into a lot. It's one of those bottle cap necklaces. There is this little <laughs> um, candle pin, which I'll try, you know, maybe 10 bucks or so. Here we have a piece bracelet that will go into a lot and a little owl bracelet, but that is missing some stones as well. So that will go into a lot or we donate another little um, costume jewelry ring. Doom, doom. Lots of things getting redonated. That's cute. I'm going to set you aside. Oh, uh, gosh. 
Yeah, we've got just some single earrings here. These ones will go, nothing fantastic. So these will go either redonate or back into a lot right now. Same thing here, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. Okay, you're cool, you get to be shown. You are, oh I already, this one I already got rid of the mate because it was all scratched up. Uh, here, we already know what's happening with these ones. But look at this ring. This is awesome. It's a horse. It looks like it might be silver. Can y'all make out that horse? It looks tarnished like it's silver. Very cool. Where's my loop? All right, my battery died. So here we have this sterling silver horse ring. This one for sure will just make the money back on the jar. It looks like so. It's just a horse kind of facing you. That's unusual. It's different. That's cool. So that will definitely get sold. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. This is cool. It is, can you see it? It is see-through. It's got these clear, like acrylic style plastic beads. And it is, what does it say? VCLM. I don't know what VCLM is, but I will sell this necklace. Probably for about 14 bucks. It will be a challenge to get good pictures of it. That's for sure. All right, next I have a necklace. It's got the J. Crew tags on it. But I can't tell if it's supposed to look like this. Hang on. Hang on. All right, what do you think? Is it, I think, oh, it's missing, yeah, it's missing stones, so that'll go into the craft lot for sure. Okay, so next up, this is a really cute necklace that I'm gonna try to sell. It's got a nice little tassel, and it's on this chain, so definitely got this boho look to it, and I will try to sell it probably in the $15, $17 range. And then, we have this big mamma jamma. Um, but this one I will, well, let's zoom it out because it's really close, isn't it? It's got that tomato soup orange color to it. But I could see somebody wearing it with their business suit and some lady with their, her power suit going to work and needing a pop of color. Well, here's her pop of color. So I would probably list this around 20 bucks. So we'll see how that does. All right. So definitely the big winner in this were the Laurel Birch Button Covers and the Sterling Silver Horse Ring that was already put away. And my TARDIS necklace, of course. So um, I definitely think we made our $24.99 back. And I wanna thank everybody for watching. Go down there and hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and let me know um, yeah, what you thought, what was your favorite thing, or if you knew what something was that I didn't know that you can tell me, and I would really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.